all who got me here. Welcome to another session of DNA LC Live. Have you ever gone to a friend's house and found any strange, dark stains on their walls? It could be rust, or could it be blood? If these questions ever cross your mind, well, never fear. Blue it all is here to help you ID all those pesky signs of murder and mayhem. And I'm here to show you how it works. So come join me in my luminol lab, where I can make it nice and dark. You'll see why. Let's go there now. We're going to see how luminol reacts when it comes in contact with real blood. Now, the blood we're using is from chickens. Uh, I, we don't have chickens at the DNA Learning Center, so actually it's from chicken livers that were bought at the supermarket and we're going to mix the compound luminol. Now, luminol has an interesting reaction when it comes in contact with blood cells. It reacts with the iron that's connected to the hemoglobin. When it comes in contact, a chemical reaction occurs that releases energy in the form of blue light or blue photons. We're gonna see if that works now. So I'm going to add some luminol to some tubes here. Now, I have this one, which has about 50 microliters of blood. I have one that has less. We can compare. And so we have this one has 20 microliters, so it's significantly less. And I also have some water, so we can compare, so we can see how it all works out. We'll use that as our control. And so I'm going to add, I'll open them all up at once, just easier that way. Hold them like this so you guys can see what I'm doing and I'm going to use a pipette to add my luminol. There we go. So I'm going to collect some luminol. Let me give it a little shake first. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to add it to the first one, which I believe is the control. I'm going to add it to my second one. I'm going to add it to my third one. Okay. I'm going to close on. All right. The middle one is the one with a little bit more blood, 50 microliters. So let's see how they look. We're going to see how they look with the lights off. Pretty neat. So you can see the control tube has nothing in it. You can't see it. You can see just the outline of the tube from the reflection of the other tubes right there. The middle one, which had the 50 microliters, uh, it's a little bit, tiny bit brighter than the other one, but not by much. You definitely can see clearly that it's glowing. Pretty neat. These don't last for that long. They only last for probably maybe up to the tops five minutes and then their glow starts to fade out. Here we have evidence from our scene collected from one of our suspects and we had tread at the scene of the crime and this tread looks very very similar and I see a red residue. I want to know if that red residue is paint or some other material or specifically blood. So we're going to use our luminol to see if it is blood. We're going to see if it glows. So, lights out. I'm going to say yes on that. Pretty neat. So right here on this wall, there's a little bit of a blood splatter at the bottom, a little puddle of blood, and I see some moisture on the wall right here, so I'm suspecting there could be some blood spatter. So I'm going to try out my luminol to see if I can get that to show up. So let's see, I'm going to spray it on, and then we'll shut the lights out, and hopefully we can see if that's blood or not. Lights out. 
definitely can see that glowing. It's kind of creepy. It's in the form of a person. Really creepy. But you can see how it's flowing down. You probably can't see my hand. It's almost like stars and then just like a dripping mess towards the bottom. So even if blood is hard to see, that luminol can show it up. So luminol can still get that blood to show up on the surface, even if it's been wiped away in many times. So if you're trying to clean blood, luminol can still pick it up. The video camera couldn't pick up what I could see with my naked eye. So I used a camera in night mode and took a still shot. Here is the result of a full length blood spatter. So I hope you enjoyed our presentation of Luminol on our DNA LC Live short. And be sure to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And uh, if you like this video, give us a little like. And uh, if you have any comments, you can add them to the comment section. Uh, or if we have the live chat running, you can put some comments in the live chat. And I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.